Hi all, let's look at an exciting game from the St. Louis Blitz tournament. Caruana is playing white in this game against Sergei Karyakin. Let's have a look. D4. Karyakin plays knight f6. Bishop f4. D5. E3. And we have bishop f5. So symmetrical, nearly, this position. Knight f3. E6. Yes, white can, uh, well, and usually does play bishop d3 here. Another move which has been played before is c4. But there is a slight potential downside here. Black can snap off this knight, which he did. And usually the rook takes here. Uh, the reason is the queen is quite handy for a later check. I'll give you an example. Uh, say check this position on d takes there's a useful check here and white is thought to be okay it's quite complicated but white's thought to be okay but in this game we get actually queen takes b1 and after the check it seems doesn't it doesn't seem very good to play king e2 here because d takes c4 there's no queen a4 check and queen d5 next black's going to get a, a stranglehold on the light squares. It seems actually already slightly better for black. So perhaps in this regard, king d1 was played. But the king does seem to be fairly unsafe. Black just castles. c5 trying to close things up, but it can be an undeminable target. It's fixed first, which also means that the bishop can come back like this. Uh, so the bishop doesn't want to be trapped there. Bishop d3, knight bd7. King e2, the bishop comes back. G4, very aggressive play from Caruana. Perhaps this is his intention not to waste any time putting pressure on the king's side. G6, queen g1. B6, hitting that pawn chain hard. For the moment, white covers b8, so it's difficult to see at the moment how this is an issue, the second rank. But, okay, black takes on c5 h5 white's going for an all-in attack here bishop c7 this does mean that rook b8 can come later or queen b8 because that b8 square has been uh it's stopped being eyed for the moment bishop g5 c takes knight takes now knight e5 and there's possible ideas of knight takes or c5 hg black has to capture away from the center here Otherwise, his king's going to be terminated if hg, queen h2. Yeah, so he has to. But it's also quite dynamic anyway, because the king's here. This f-file is quite useful for the rook on the f-file. But you might think, what about knight takes e6? That is played. The thing is, queen b8 now. And yeah, black's going to get a strong counterattack if allowed queen takes b2. The rook might be hanging in, in variations as well. Uh, so we see queen b1. Now rook f7. Bishop f4. Knight f takes g4. It seems white hasn't got a substantial enough attack here. The knight's always guarding g6. We have f3. Now that attacking bishop is taken out. Knight takes d3. It's very difficult for white here. He tries bishop takes c7. Now black has very good options here. He can even simply just take this and be better. This is just better for black. Uh, but even stronger, queen e8. Queen takes d3. Queen takes e6. It seems the white king is far less safe than the black king here, basically. Bishop g3 is played. Yeah, black doesn't want to allow any queen takes g4 check. This bishop's hanging anyway. But now just rook e8. Enormous pressure on the position here. Now here, uh, bishop f2 was played. You might think, what about taking here? f takes g4. Well, queen takes g4 is winning that bishop with a big advantage. Two pawns up. King safety is actually better for black. 
safer king for black so here bishop f2 but now can you see what sergey played really crushing blow here if i give you five seconds starting from now okay Brook takes f3 yeah tearing through this is unfortunate for white rook a f1 if white takes here best is just the, the knight fork actually to win the queen so yeah uh it's pretty bad and now just simply doubling the rooks here and white's defenseless the game ended here uh, there's just too much pressure this is a very very nasty pin if bishop e1 we can just take on uh, e3 winning the queen if bishop uh, g1 then the rook hangs yeah it's just really nasty there's nothing really what I can do quite an interesting blitz game and just shows actually uh, the power of Sergei Karyakin he's pretty fearsome and yeah last year 2016 he won uh, the World Blitz Championship in fact so he is the current World Blitz Champion so yeah this is going to be a fun section of the event for him and apparently uh, he's always loved Blitz he's played he he reckons it's only Nakamura that might have played more Blitz than him he's an absolute Blitz uh, fanatic since an early age so uh, it's interesting to see his Blitz games okay comments questions like shares appreciate it thanks very much